Hello and welcome to tutorial 183 and a someone on the Marplex email list sent me a question and that was how can he change the background color of certain places on radar screen certain cells in radar screen in order to for example as a sort of visual alert this is actually a little more tricky than you might imagine because what we can't do for example is just in the normal control the color the background color of the symbol or indeed some of these other uh, columns like bid and ask and and volume etc using easy language so this is a way that that can be done quite quite uh, simple and i'm just going to run through it and then uh, I'll make the uh, the programs available. What I'm also going to do is show you how you can make uh, the cells change color on a, a regular basis and uh, also how we can get a situation where if we click a cell it changes color. So covering a few different things in this tutorial. So the first thing that I did was I took the symbol column and I just made it as small as possible. We can't get rid of it, but we can make it as small as possible. So let's go into the easy language. I'm not going to necessarily do it in the order of the program because the first thing, the principle behind this is what we're going to do is plot the values that were there before. We can choose which values we wish to plot. But for example, we're going to plot the symbol name, even though symbol is already there, because then we've got control over plot one. We can change the background color uh, and so forth. To do that, we're going to be using the uh, quotes provider. The, the quotes provider gives us a number of different things that we can, we can get, such as bid, ask, daily volume. So let's see how we do that. We're going to go to the toolbox and we would just click here, double click on quotes provider and then go to properties and click on this item here. And then what we need is real time. I've set it up to exchange, which is just one of the options there. Uh, load true. I gave it a slightly different name and then symbol. What I put in there is get symbol name. So I'm just going to delete this because we don't need two quotes providers. This is the quotes provider I uh, got here and uh, I'm just going to show you exactly what I've got in there. Okay, so real time true, time zone exchange, load true. I changed its name to QP and I've got in get symbol name. Now we also need to add in the fields that we're going to be asking. And what I've got here our bid, ask, this is in quotes and each one separates by a common, daily volume and FIBWAP. And then what we're going to do is plot values using those and the syntax is QP dot quote and then in square brackets the name of the thing that we're putting in and then dot double value in the case of uh, the bid and the ask. And for the volume, it's integer value and for VWAP, uh, double value. So that is how we get several of those values, which should match the, uh, the radar screen values. Now, having done that, we need to change or we can change some of the background colors. And we do that just using set plot BG color and uh, the number one referring to plot one, three, plot three, and so on. And what I've done is just set them some fairly random colors here to start with. And then just to show you how you could change the color based on a value, I've said if the, the bid value is greater than 50, then set the plot BG color for two, that's plot two, to be blue. So plot two is the bar in interval. And if we go to radar screen, you'll see that where the, the bid value is greater than 50, then this background is being plotted in with a blue background. Now, if it's less than 50 or equal to 50, you'll see that we're getting the same background that is standard on this radar screen. Now, another thing I've done is that I've changed the color of the symbol name or the background color of the symbol name based on the first letter of the symbol name. So what I've done is in the case where it is either A, D or M, uh, 
I've set the color, the background color to red. And you can see the syntax for that there. And if we go to radar screen, you'll see um, those beginning with A, those beginning with D, and those beginning with M have red backgrounds. Now, the next thing is you'll notice that uh, the column with uh, the daily volume is going from a dark cyan to a light cyan every few seconds. So let me just show you how that is done. And to do that, we're using the timer. So to create a new timer, we would just go toolbox, double click on timer, and then go to properties. So let's just see what I've got as properties for my timer. And you'll see I've got the interval 5,000, that's 5,000 milliseconds, five seconds. I've got auto reset, so it just keeps counting up to 5,000, then resetting, counting up to 5,000. I've enabled it and I've given it this name, timer one. If we click on events, you'll see that I've got a timer one elapsed. So what you'd do if it were a, fr a brand new timer, you would go here and then double click on this space here. And that would then create this um, method in your program. Now, what I've done in order to keep track of whether it's changed color or not, is I've created an intrabar persist Boolean variable which I've called change color, and that's starting off as false. So this thing is fired every five seconds. The first time it fires, the value of change color is false. So we'd set the, the, uh, the background color to cyan. We also then change, uh, change the, uh, the Boolean to true. And then when this fires again, uh, the Boolean is true. So that's, uh, that doesn't evaluate, but down here else, evaluates, we change the color back to dark cyan. Now that works pretty well, but what will happen if we leave it at that is the color of the uh, that column will start to be changed back to the color it would be, which is orange if we did nothing. So we need to make a small change down here. And what we say is if the change color is false, then set the black gown color to a dark cyan, else set the black background color to cyan. Just to show you what I mean there, what I'll do is just comment that out and verify and we'll just see program. And you'll see there, it does get changed to light cyan, but then the orange of the uh, the settings starts to, uh, starts to take over. So we need to add those lines. Okay, and then the final thing that I've done is I've created this capability such that if you click on cells, the colors change. And I did that really just to uh, demonstrate the radar screen provider. To get that, what we do is we go to toolbox, click on radar screen host, radar screen host, I should say, rather than provider. Having done that, if we uh, click on the item here and then go to here, I change the name to RS host. And then on the uh, plot click, I double clicked in this space, uh, space here. And that gives us this method here. And what we can then do is if we say, um, our, if args.symbol is get symbol name, in other words, we've clicked on the row for a specific symbol, then set the plot color for the args plot number. So we're triangulating where we are on the in radio screen based on the symbol name and the plot number. And then we can change the color. Of course, that's getting overwritten as the uh, program is ticking. That just is a very quick demonstration as to how you can use that information. And um, there are various other ways if we were to go to args and look, you can see all the various different options that you've got here including row, column number, etc. Okay, so that is the program with a few different uh, items to show you how you can change colors in radar screen. What I'm gonna do is also create a version of this that does not have these items in the, uh, the tray down here. And I'm uh, gonna do that by copying the information from the designer generated code and creating 
a new version uh, also using namespaces so you can see all the code in one place and what I'm going to do is make these programs available uh, on the website okay so I hope this might be useful to you if you see any issues or problems or have any questions then please email me and uh, thank you for watching this video